Oh, I thought you'd never ask. I wouldn't wish that no good drone on anyone. Now he started playing around with himself. Oh, not now, Felicia, please. Why not? Well, it's all we did last night and the night before. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. <laughs> Frankly, I'm bored. Yeah? You're too much, Fingal. You know that? Wait a minute. You're the one who told me to change things if I didn't like them. And this is what you mean by changing things? Why not? I'm entitled to a little bit of happiness, happiness. aren't I? Happiness? Listen to me, Fingal. Your navel's very deep. I can't even see to the bottom of it. And if you fall in, I can't guarantee to pull you out. What is it with you? First you tell me to go out and change things instead of sitting around. Now you want me to sit around? Why don't you go try to figure out what you want and then come back? What I want is to get you back inside your body and be rid of you. Fine! I want to get back to my life too, you know. Oh, if this one-handed exercise is all you can think of to do with your life, you're a very little man and I'm very disappointed in you. You had me fooled. I was beginning to think that you were someone special. It's a good thing we don't have to like each other, isn't it? Because you're definitely not my kind of woman. I can't go on with this. I'm trying to do the right thing, Fingal. But I'm not sure what that is. You're going to have to tell me what to do. Okay. I will. Here's looking at you, kid. What happened? I don't know. The sine waves went crazy, some kind of Here's energy looking surge. Looking at you, kid. Here's looking at you, kid. Here's looking at you, kid. Interrupt. Here's looking at you, kid. Invalid Here's format override. Damn, Fingal! Invading my programs. James, damn it, you are supposed to control Fingal? I can monitor him, Slavin, but I can't control that guy's imagination. It is something else. Perhaps Fingal needs a new computer, hmm? We can't interrupt the interface. The chairman is not going to let this happen again. Slavin. Fingal has another four hours, and no one is going to cut him off before then. I'm not getting caught in this crunch. She'll never let you terminate Fingal. It's not her choice. If she tries to fight us, she'll find that out. Some short circuit. Yeah. <laughs> I hate these things. Thought you weren't gonna make waves. It just happened. I didn't do anything on purpose. It's just I've had it. If I'm in charge of what happens to me in here, I'm not gonna go on being a zombie like all those other zombies at work. Then what are you gonna do? I don't know. But I've got to get the hell out of here. Novi Corp isn't helping. So I guess I'm gonna have to punch my own buttons for a change. that guy. He plays dirty, Fingal, and he plays for good. So do I, Rick. And it's my play now. I couldn't believe it. 
Fingal was going to try to reprogram the HX-368 while he was still inside it. Would you leave me alone? I don't want any fruit. He couldn't get his Casablanca fantasy out of his head. And Casablanca gets really hot during the summer. Invalid format. Quit or retry. What is your access code? Fingal was taking on the mainframe computer that more or less ran the world. Now I was terrified. If he did manage to write his own programs, anything could happen. And he was stubborn. Invalid format. Quit or retry. I'm keep on till I crack you open. Fingal, you have to do something about the heat. We can't work. What do you expect? This is Casablanca, 103, and probably getting hotter. Uh, can't you find some other reality? Why don't you see your psychic? I'm not giving up my fantasies, lady. Not for you or anyone else. And you don't exist, so just uh, disappear, will you? You can sit there all day. I'm not seeing any psychist. From now on, I'm doing what I want to do. Get it? Apollonia. Listen, I don't understand how you did it, but what happens in here could have an effect out there. You can't just play games, Fingal. Apollonia. I haven't seen you for weeks. Get back to work, Fingal. What is your access code? Invalid format. Quit or retry. Quit or retry. Okay. We both take a break. Mr. Fingal, can't you do something about the heat? I trust you're enjoying Casablanca. Very amusing city, fat man. I have a communication for you. Uh, thanks, but I have an appointment. Hey, Fingal, where are you going? The boss would like to talk to you. Shut up and listen. Good of you to spare me the time, Mr. Fingal. I will be brief. The powers that be want you to know that they've discovered what happened to your body. They found me? I discovered that one of the children who observed your doppling played a little joke on you. He switched the tag from your body to another body. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> well, unfortunately, the little rascal couldn't remember what color tag he put on your body. <laughs> Even after rather intensive questioning. <laughs> but there is still hope. How much hope? Ah, uh, that depends on you, Fingal. If you persist in trying to interfere with the HX-368 programs, I guarantee your body will not be found in time. Don't threaten me, fat man. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't make threats, Mr. Fingal. Only promises. <laughs> He's a towel, Fingal. He's a towel, he's a towel, he's a towel, he's a towel. Job's looking after you, and you sure aren't making it easy. If you think I'm the one who's trying to kill me, you're crazy, Apollonia. 
Can you just shut up and listen? This is no time for a serious conversation. Yeah, I guess that's what they think, too. We put you into the HX-368 to keep you safe. You owe us. I'm just trying to save my ass, and right now I'm having a damn hard time of it. Listen, I know you're trying to do your job, but please, why don't you get out of here? I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> Dingo Identicube in final phase. Damn it, will ya? I hate that song. I ran into the fat man today. Better think twice about what you're getting into, kid. You might not walk away from him next time. It was close. She was right there with me, Apollonia. You should have seen it. She didn't care what happened to her. Okay. Let's try alphanumerics. Start with a two-letter prefix. I got access. Gotcha, fat man. Repeated 368. IY479. Yeah. Yeah! I got it! Soonest. Invalid format. Quit or retry. Iceland and Greenland 
in the midst of heat wave. He couldn't have done all this. Is this how you control that lunatic? It's summer and there is a blizzard out there. Rain and typhoons in the south, floods, cyclones. Everything is out of control. There's only one solution to all of this. He has to be erased before he does any more damage. No. Even if he did create all... He did. Not deliberately. We're the ones who put him in there. We lost his body. We're as much to blame as he is. Did we tell him to go exploring in there? Did we tell him to tamper with programs that have been carefully planned to serve Nova Corp clients? Did we encourage him to go wild in there? Did we, Miss James? No. Fingal's too dangerous. James, am I mistaken? Are you not an employee of Nova Corp? Of course I am. And you have certain loyalties to us? All right, stop romanticizing. Find him, chastise him. If there is one more catastrophe, we will not deliberate. We will terminate him. Well, Mr. Fingal, they've created quite an event, sir. This is the beginning, Pierre, now that he can input his own program. Hey, Rick, I just stumbled into it. You're too modest, Mr. Fingal. He's just getting started, Pierre. He could be a contender. Come on, I didn't do anything. You did a hell of a lot, and you're gonna do a damn sight more. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I made some waves. It's a pleasure, my dear sir, to see the waves you make. Thou shalt not meddle in Novacorp hardware, or in Novacorp shall hold thee responsible. Thou shalt not break out of HX368. Thou shalt not program. Where's my body? Hold thy horses, wait it out, and thou shalt soon see the light at the end of the tunnel. I promise, no more meddling around. And you didn't need all that pizzazz. You're enough. Oh, goddess of transitorium. Promise me. Promise me. Promise me. That's some dang, Fingal. I don't blame you for making that promise. Sorry, Rick. It's probably better. I, I could make a lot of trouble messing around with things I don't understand. Nothing to be sorry about. I guess it could have been fun. Yeah, you could have done things. Yeah. Well, okay. Let's have some champagne. Sorry, buddy. Things to do. Oh, it's okay, Rick. Pierre and I will split your share. I'm oh, sorry, sir, but I have an appointment all the way across the city in the old quarter. You'll, you'll have to excuse me. What happened? He'll stay in line now. Great. They're going to owe you, Apollonia. I bet you get a promotion out of this if you don't blow everything by fighting with the chairman. I don't care about a promotion. That loony Fingal's starting to get to you, isn't he? He's not crazy. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have gone in there like that. Warning, 60 minutes to cube destruct. To be 
here. Time's running out, Tubi. We're close. We've only got two areas left to search. He's got to be in one of them. Keep me posted, will you, Tubi? Thanks. Fasten your seatbelt, Fingal. You're in for a bumpy ride. Heard you were leaving. Probably just as well. I can't stay here, Rick. I'm going to work every day, behaving like a good boy, like I promised Apollonia. There's no way out. And I don't have much time left. So you're gonna go out crying. Thought you were gonna try for something really big. Mr. Fingal, I see I'm in time. For what, fat man? I've taken the liberty of arranging for some papers for you. Uh, passport, uh, exit visa, that sort of thing. Your most recent reports. We're very positive, Mr. Fingal. Isn't that just great? It'd be very wise to think of traveling and enjoying yourself. Is that what you're gonna do, Fingal? Enjoy yourself? Play off, will you, Rick? I don't have to be a big man. It was crazy of me to try reprogramming the HX-368. <laughs> Luckily, you stopped in time. Spend the rest of your life playing it straight. It's my only chance. <laughs> if you'd made any more trouble for them, Mr. Fingal, they would have been forced to erase your existence here. That would have been most unfortunate.